Uh, your treasured collection, stored safely away in plastic containers in the basement, never to see the light of day. That is, until your wife cleans out the storage room. And then you know where it ends up. That's right. But there's a better way to preserve your relics. And I'm going to show you how you can build a really cool wall-mounted display that will turn this into this. All right, let's get started. The first thing you're gonna need is a shadow box, and you can pick these up on sale at local craft stores. I got this one for $22. Then you're gonna need some push pins. I bought these on Amazon. They're half an inch with a black head, and they cost me $8. You may also wanna have some longer pins on hand, just in case you have some larger objects. You're also gonna need some Velcro and some hanging supplies to include D-ring hangers and some hanging wire. For any coins you want to display, I recommend using plastic coin capsules. You can also buy these on Amazon or eBay. Finally, you're also going to need some tools, including a drill, tape measure, a pair of scissors, and something with a hard edge. And in this case, I'm going to use a chisel. Oh, and you'll need some tape too, and I'll show you why later. Now, before you break into the shadow box, you're going to want to install the D-ring hangers. Simply drill a small hole in the sides of the frame and secure the hangers with a screw. But wait to install the hanging wire until you put the box together. Now, slide back the tabs that hold the backer board in place, remove the board, and you're ready to get started. You'll notice the board is covered with a material that the objects will be secured to. Beginning in the middle, you can start to lay out the relics. It's totally up to you what pattern you want to use. For me, I like to put a nameplate and my coolest finds right in the center. Then take your tape measure and make sure the middle piece is centered. Now continue setting out the relics on the board as you see fit. I like to put heavier objects on the bottom and also try to balance the board with larger objects on both sides with smaller objects in between. After you get done, go back and make your final adjustments. When it comes to the Velcro, you're going to want to use the hook or rough side to fasten items to the board. For objects you're going to use Velcro on, start by cutting some small pieces and then trim them to size. Now stick the Velcro to the back and you're ready to secure the relic to the board. When it comes to using Velcro, I'm pretty selective. I'll use it on smaller, lightweight items and on things I don't worry about damaging. But for larger objects, you're going to want to use a combination of Velcro and pins. Starting in the middle, double check the center piece to make sure it's lined up and then work out from there. When you get to your larger items, you're going to want to use the pins to secure them. Set the pin and then press down firmly on it with the straight edge. This will ensure that the pin penetrates the backer board and holds the object in place. I'm also going to use the pins on heavier relics. This will help them defy gravity and keep them from falling off the board. Now it may be tempting to use the flat edge to press down the pins with the object in place, but I would caution against this because it's very easy to bend the pins and you don't want to damage your relics. Instead, carefully place the pins where you want them. Then go ahead and remove the object. Now with no worries, you can press down the pins with the flat edge to make sure they're secure. You'll notice on this old bullet, I used a combination of Velcro and the pins. This guarantees that this heavier relic will always stay on the board. Okay, remember when I talked about having some tape? Well, this is gonna come in really handy to help clean up any dirt or debris that gets on the surface. Once you get started, plan on the process taking a couple of hours to get all of the relics in place. Some items, like these suspender clips, are pretty easy to set with just the pins. 
but other objects may be more challenging and require more time. All right, the moment of truth, raising up the backer board. Hopefully everything's in place, but you may find you have to go back and make a few adjustments. If everything looks good to go, you can now slide the board into the frame. Just be really careful when you do this. Now slide the metal tabs back into place and install the hanging wire on the back. You are now ready to display your masterpiece for everyone to enjoy, including your wife, for years to come. Well, I hope you liked this video. If so, please subscribe. And don't forget to check out my other videos at Metal Detecting Utah in search of Mormon gold.